Welcome to Time to Talk, and today we are joined by Glasgow Warriors Trio, Matt Fagerson, Xander Fagerson, and Ollie Cable. So, Xander, what was the first watch that you ever owned? Um, for my 12th birthday, my mum and dad got me an Adidas stainless steel watch. Um, I had a few other little plastic ones before, but I just remember on my 12th birthday opening up the watch and just being a lot heavier than I was used to. Uh -huh. And I, I thought I thought I was uh, the coolest kid in school that day, <laughs> going around showing all my mates, oh, look what I got, look what I got. So um, it's somewhere still in the house, amazing. So you've kept it? I have kept it. Um, I, I think I gave it to you and then my other brothers. Um, yep. Probably doesn't remember. But um, but yeah, no, nah, that was a, yeah. a very fond memory of mine. So it was like a gift. So was your first watch this Adidas no, watch? No, it wasn't. I've actually got a great story about my first watch. My mum, I asked my mum when she went away for a bit if uh, if she could have a look in the duty free in the airport uh, to get me a watch. She came back with this, at the time I thought it was lovely, um, this lovely Seconda, all gold. I thought, you know, went to school, I'd be the coolest kid on the block. Um, I get to school and one of the boys who clearly his dad was quite into his watches or whatever, um, so I looked at it and said, my mum's got that watch. Um, so I went back, did, did my due diligence, my, my research, um, went online and found out mum had got me uh, a woman's watch, yes. Oh, no. So I still wore it, I still wore it, but, um, but yeah, that was, uh, that so was my first one. So out there, you know. Mm. The Seconda, yeah. yeah, exactly. He's got very skinny wrists. So. <laughs> and Ollie, what about you? What was your first watch? Uh, my first watch I remember very well was, um, <clears throat> excuse me, I got a Barman Mercier from my dad uh, when I was 14 or 15. Um, I was going away to boarding school overseas and he gave it to me as like a good luck present. Oh. And uh, yeah, I still got it today and okay. love it. I was already the coolest kid in school. So <laughs> <laughs> Let's just take the rat to a new level. Yeah. <laughs> So that's it. I think sometimes you're saying you, you a lot. You know, you said you've still got it. So I think with watches, it is something that you know it does stay with you. It brings a memory. So you were travelling to you know away, or you know it was a, a kind of gift that really made you feel amazing at the time. And it does it, it stays with you, doesn't it? And with the Bomb and Mercy, was that something you had said you liked, or had he just picked it because he knew it was a great brand? And uh, no, it was completely out the, out the blue. Um, wasn't expecting anything and. I just love it. Uh, it's a beautiful watch and it's got like such a special attachment to me. So um, that's definitely a watch I'll keep forever and yeah, I love it. Do you, you said you keep it, do you wear it just now or no, you just... Yeah, that's kind of my, my daily at the moment. I sound like I've got a lot of watches. <laughs> 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 no, it's, uh, it's the watch I wear probably most and because I don't see my family that often at the moment, it's nice to wear all the time. So. Yeah, so it's bringing, yeah, that, yeah. that nice attachment. Yeah, definitely. So when you're training, do you wear, you don't wear, do you wear a watch when you're? I, I've, got, I've got like a plastic, yeah, a plastic yeah. G-Shock just because keep the time and mm -hmm. if, if you're late, you get, you get fined and <laughs> you're in a bit of trouble. So yeah, just to, to keep you on track. Yeah. Tra keep keep you on track and yeah, make sure I remember the date sometimes. Yeah. I think you guys should give Matt a watch because he's always late. Yeah, <laughs> I'll have across the road from Scotson, so yeah. I've really got no excuse. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. yeah. So which watch brands sort of hold the most significance for you? What would you say is the one that you know you're kinda of ultimate or I think I think for me all time watch would probably be a Rolex Daytona. Okay. Um, I remember seeing it as a young boy and just thinking, oh, it's just amazing, you know, and, and then learning about Rolex and what a steam brand is and stuff. I think, yeah, that, that would definitely be my dream watch. Yeah, yeah. And what about you? Um, yeah, I'm sort of newly into the watch world, um, but to be honest, the, um, the Black Bay Tudor was probably yeah. the first one that I saw mm -hmm. that was like, wow, it's, um, that's just, it's absolutely beautiful. And yeah, one that I've, I've probably always wanted, so. Um, that's me. I think it's key, that's key, isn't it? It's what's what will suit one person won't suit another, and everyone's tastes are different. And you know, I think someone's aspirational watch might not necessarily be someone else's. So yeah, Ollie, do you have something that's your ultimate? Uh, yeah, um, skeleton Cartier. <laughs> <laughs> well played, well played. Um, <laughs> yeah, I mean, as far as watches go, you can't get much better than something like this. So. Yeah. Um, I'm pretty content with what I have and um, yeah, I'm grateful for what I have, but I mean, I could always get this. Yeah, it's, nice <laughs> one, it? it's going to be difficult to take that one off, I think, isn't it? 
So on to um, rugby then. Um, how important is it for you guys to work to schedules of week to week? Yeah, Matt, what do you think about schedules? About schedules, yeah. I think start time is crucial. Um, yeah, waking up in the morning especially, you know. So I was going to say, is that what's tricky actually? <laughs> no, no, it's not too bad. It's fitting everything in the morning. Like Xander used the excuse, he's got two kids, so I've got no excuse. But You've got a puppy? I know, a half an hour dog walk in the he's morning still, and then still still out. And if she's crying when you leave the door, you can't yeah. leave her. So Puppies are more difficult than children. I've got two, two, two dogs, two, two kids. Oh, he's, yeah, he's got, he's got no excuse. Um, no, yeah, 100%, I think, especially in the morning, like keeping track of time. Um, waking up is probably the hardest thing. So, um, yeah. yeah. Definitely getting up and getting everything mm. sorted in the morning. Um, yeah. You've got one with an alarm setting, that'd be great for him. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> and who's the best then at being on time? Out of I'd say Zonda's most organised oh, yeah. out of all of us. You can see, even his locker, <laughs> everything's neat and tidy. He all sorts yeah. of yeah. It's a bit OCD, I think. Uh, uh, make sure ev everyone knows that he's on time and he's early and prepared. <sighs> no. I think in the way. You know, uh, I used to be quite messy and then my wife whipped me into tip top shape so, so I can't have a mess at home so. yeah yeah she'll take full credit your tidiness <laughs> and being on time and I think as your family grows that's the thing as well yeah. you have to yeah. so much more to, to look at big time yep totally so we talked about working up to the watches that you have now from some of the more entry level points do you feel you get different experiences going into different showrooms and, and how was your um, experience when you came in today to, to Mapping and Web? Yeah, I'll, I'll start. Yeah, it was, it was brilliant. I came in, um, I was instantly greeted and um, just shown around this selection of what to start. I sort of drifted towards the Tudor section um, as that was the ones that I, that I was most interested in. But there's such a great range along um, and, uh, and one of your colleagues was was very knowledgeable um, on all the different ones and I had a look at a few that I'd never seen before. Um, there was one of the, the bronze ones that he says ages really well, and looks really, really nice. Um, you don't have to get it, you know, refurbished and stuff um, as, as an everyday watch. So yeah, no, it was, it was brilliant from the get go. I think that's how we get access to so many different brands across the state, across all different sort of price points. And that's what we're, we're wanting, you know, all of our clients to feel like when they come in, if they've got questions, if they just want to pop in and say hello, or just look at a few different brands. And um, we want it to feel inviting and, you know, to, to make it feel special as well, regardless of whatever it is you're, you're looking at. How did you feel, Ollie, popping in? Yeah, pretty similar to everyone else. Um, like. I think like it can be quite a daunting experience to come into a watch shop where you think, oh, everything's going to be something that I can't afford. Um, but as soon as we walked in here, your staff were incredibly welcoming and there's so much to look at. There's a wide range of what you could possibly get and um, what, I don't know, what you're after. There's a huge range of stuff. So um, incredibly welcoming and shouldn't be intimidated by coming to Map and Web. I think it's quite an exciting experience. I certainly had a lot of fun. So. so thank you so much for popping into to the showroom today. It's been great to, to have you here. And um, I'm sure that we'll, we'll see you back again, especially to, to get your first well, watch. And you maybe that skeleton <laughs> car team might, might leave Yeah, I'll be saving for a while, I think. <laughs> yes. I'll be back soon. Yeah, but thank you so much. It's been thank really you. great to have you. And hopefully we'll see you all again. Thank you, Nicola. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you very much.